Today I'd like to challenge you all. See if you can play a guitar solo, but you can only use one note. Now this seems simple, but it's actually pretty challenging. Because when you don't have uh, any fast licks that you can play, or you don't have any uh, flashy technique that you can use, uh, and all you're left with is just the bare knuckles of one note to play, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult. Uh, but I think that's part of the appeal. I think sometimes it's very nice to be able to challenge yourself and do these little uh, limitation exercises, whether you only play two strings or only play one string and uh, see what you can do with it. So uh, I'm going to go over some of the pitfalls today uh, that you will probably inevitably encounter when you try to do this. Some of the challenges that I think that you're going to encounter with this are uh, obviously you're not going to be able to use much technique. You only have one note. So you're going to have to not rely on flashy techniques like sweeping and fast licks or things like that that you might have uh, already determined. You're going to have to rely on things like articulation, uh, things like rhythm, and God forbid, guitar players, I'm thinking of you, uh, you're going to have to rely on dynamics. So this is a great way to really bring in those other things and I know that at least as guitar players we don't really use that much uh, or as much as we should. Uh, and I'm not saying that you should go out Taylor Swift gives you a call to play a guitar solo and you come in and, oh, I'm going to see if I can do it all with one note. No, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to be able to play uh, and to extract, uh, stretch your imagination a little bit. This is how we're going to grow a little bit. And it's going to help you more in terms of all of your solos, uh, if you have these kind of principles in the back of your head. For this track, I'm going to be playing over A, Dorian. Uh, so I'm just going to be hitting this note right here. This is my one note, A on the fifth string on the uh, fifth fret, I'm sorry, on the first string. Uh, and I'm just jamming over like an A Dorian thing, but really it doesn't matter. Any note you can think of, any scale you can think of, it's fun to just go onto YouTube or something like that. In this case, I'm using A Dorian, but you could do A Phrygian, A Locrian, A whatever. As long as that note is sort of the focus point, um, it doesn't really matter. You'll, you'll be in key, so to speak. One of the things that you are probably gonna do is try to overplay. Uh, might sound a little something like this. Okay, so how can we fix that? Um, well, obviously, try to pause a little bit. Lay back a little bit when you're soloing. Uh, only play a couple of notes and then stop. Let the listener actually listen and hear what you play and digest it and then give them a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit more like this. play, again as guitar players especially, it tends to be very monotonous sounding, very sort of, you know, it sounds a lot like this, but we don't speak this way, so we shouldn't, you know, we don't sit there when we speak and say, hello, how are you, I'm very good, that's great to hear, I hope that it says, no, we have inflections, we can go kind of quiet like this, and then we go and we go and we get excited, we kind of speak louder like this, right? We should bring that element into our guitar playing, so um, like kind of a boring sound, sounding solo with Boring dynamics might sound a little like this. Alright, so that probably didn't sound great because it does sound very much monotonous. And we don't speak that way. Um, we speak with more dynamics. So I think it's good to play with a little bit more dynamics and, and to have those louds and softs and those crescendos and things like that. Maybe something a little bit more like this.
topic or the idea of uh, limiting exercises uh, is something that appeals to you, uh, I have some additional resources uh, down in the links below. And finally, we have my favorite one. Uh, this is what I like to call the rule of opposites. So all that is, is if we played something loud before, maybe we now play soft for a little bit, you know? Uh, we'll play something maybe with a lot of rhythm, uh, but now maybe we'll take back, we'll play something with very l easy rhythm or, or, or just very rhythmically sparse. It's a fun way to play a solo because I think it allows you to organize things a little bit more. And if you play one way and then the opposite the other, I just find that it uh, kind of gives you at least a way of thinking so you're not just sort of playing notes and, and randomly noodling. You're, uh, you're, you're, you're consciously trying to play uh, in a way that'll pique someone's interest. <laughs> out of this please consider hitting the like and subscribe button down below thanks again for checking out this lesson and uh, i'll see you next time